How's it going Star Seekers? Welcome back to another Star or Shovel Worm mini review where this time we're taking a look at a game called A Dark Room. A text based adventure game where you have to develop a town by harvesting wood to build houses to attract settlers and craft traps to gather meat and fur before venturing out to explore the dangerous wilderness inhabited by hostile creatures. So the game started its life as a browser based game with very simple visuals but was ported to Switch in April 2019 with enhanced visuals and gameplay features. Now it's understandable that this game might not be for everyone, but if you grew up in the late 70s or early 80s then you may be one of the rare breeds who still hold fond memories of games like Zork and know that graphics don't necessarily make a good game. So a dark room starts off in classic fashion text down the left side relays the situation to you and it's advisable that you wear headphones as the game's sound effects really help with immersion. You have awoken in a dark room, head throbbing and voices in your head urging you to survive. You have only one option right now, light fire. And so you do and the screen brightens a little as a stranger stumbles into the room. As you stoke the fire the screen brightens further and the room begins to warm and you go out to gather wood from a forest hoping that the heat will rouse the stranger and eventually it does. She identifies herself as a builder who is able to assist you in building carts to carry more wood and traps to catch creatures and so we get on to gathering resources each time waiting for the progress bar to fill. Once we've gathered enough of these the builder opens up new construction options. The first of these being a hut which will attract new inhabitants to the town who assist us with gathering additional resources. Eventually we gain access to a hunting lodge allowing us to assign people to hunt for animal parts, a tannery allowing us to create leather from the fur and a smokehouse to cure and preserve the meat. Now as we work on building up the settlement our progress is interjected by dreams and voices urging us to explore and after building a trade post we're able to buy a compass which allows us to venture out into the wilderness. Now this is a hostile place and to begin with you won't get far as your supplies of food and water dwindle rapidly and you're assaulted by wild animals and crazed madmen set on taking your life. Combat takes place in real time with your opponent attacking at set intervals and you returning blows whenever your bar refreshes. You can also consume food to restore lost health but if you die either in combat or by running out of food or water it isn't the end. You awaken once more in your village with memories of a woman with a glowing locket, perhaps your saviour. So the aim in a dark room is to venture further into the wilderness following the directions of the compass. Gathering new resources whilst out adventuring opens up further construction options including a workshop where you can craft new equipment such as water containers, a backpack to increase your carrying capacity, armour and weapons. And so this is how the game cycle goes. You gather materials, build up your settlement to attract more people, construct new types of buildings to craft new equipment and increase your survivability in the wilderness. The game also features events which occur at random which include wild beasts who assault your settlement killing villagers, risky investment opportunities with strangers who may or may not return with your profit and old wanderers who should you choose to offer them lodging for the night grant you passive perks that increase your attack and defence. Now I really enjoyed my time playing a dark room with my only real criticisms being that sometimes waiting for materials to generate can be a little dull and that the wilderness can be pretty tough to begin with until you understand how the mechanics of it work. Overall though I found the dark room a quite relaxing experience and I'd definitely recommend it to fans of text based adventures or anyone looking for a change of pace or a more unique gameplay experience from the Switch eShop. So when it comes to rating games I have a rather loose 1 to 5 star rating system or alternatively games get the shovelware stamp of approval if they're so bad that they don't deserve a rating and for a rating I'd give a dark room 3 out of 5 stars. It's an enjoyable text based adventure game with some well thought out mechanics and it requires players to have a bit of an active imagination to visualise its narrative. You can get a dark room from the UK Switch eShop where it's usually priced at £6.29 or from the US eShop for $6.99. And that's it for this Star or Shovelware mini review of A Dark Room. Hit that like button if it helped you out and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe for future Switch reviews and content and jump onto the Star Seekers Discord to join its growing community. For now though I just want to say thanks once again for watching and until next time, game on.